Welcome to the first lesson on basic programming terminology. I'm Steve Baskoff. I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office, or DISC, of the Jean and Alexander Heard Libraries of Vanderbilt University. Our office provides support for a lot of different data best practices, things like uh, GIS, copyright, open access publishing. We also provide consultations and on-demand programming, as well as provide web resources such as this one. We are often offering lessons in Python, R, and GIS, and uh, this lesson is an example of that. If you want to have more information about our office, you can go online to vanderbit.lt slash disk, or you can email us at disk at vanderbilt.edu. When I was originally envisioning this lesson series, I was thinking of calling it Choose Your Own Code Venture after the old kids' books where you got to decide where you wanted to go in the story. But I decided there probably would be copyright or licensing issues with that. So instead, I decided to call it Code Graph. The graph part of the name comes from the idea, the mathematical idea of a graph as interconnected bubbles that you can traverse and go from one to the other. And I came up, uh, up with this uh, name when I was thinking about the different ways that you can learn to code. There are actually a lot of similarities between coding in Python and R, and depending on what you want to accomplish, you can take different paths. So our goal in this series is to allow you to go at your own pace. Um, each of the lessons is a standalone unit. You can skip over units. You can watch some of the videos or none of the videos. So it's really up to you how you want to explore this graph of programming knowledge. <laughs> 